ta'udhuana illa ala al-zalimin Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin Ala sayyidina Muhammad as-sadiq al-wa'adil amin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'na bima allamtana wa zidna ilma Wa arina al-haqqa haqqan wa arzuqna tiba'a Wa arina al-batila batilan wa arzuqna jtinaba We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for an acceptance of this uh, Isha prayer And uh, we ask him to forgive our sins to show mercy upon us, to make us among those who are constantly committing righteous deeds, to make us among those who are constantly in the company of the righteous people, the resurrected, God willing, in the company of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in the company of his uh, ashab and his ahli bayt, and in, uh, in the company of the awliyas and the ulamas of this uh, nation, as well, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So, uh, tonight we want to start with uh, the tafsir, the commentary of Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah is the longest surah in the Quran. And there are so many virtues about this surah. And I'm going to talk inshallah today about some of these virtues. There are so many that I don't think I'm going to be able in a 20 minute approximately period of time, I'm not going to be able to cover all of them. But I'm going to be talking about some of these fada'il of Surah Al-Baqarah. And uh, first and foremost, there is um, a hadith of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is in uh, Sahih of Imam Muslim and also in the Jami of Imam Tirmidhi and also in the Musnad of Imam Ahmed where uh, Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam لا تجعلوا بيوتكم قبورا فإن البيت الذي تقرأ فيه سورة البقرة لا يدخله الشيطان. Now, so he says, do not turn your houses into graves. Do not turn your houses into graves. What does it mean for a house to be turned into a grave? It means that a house is kind of um, not alive. A grave, it's a symbol of no life. There is pretty much nobody, there is no action happening at all. So, um, and when a Nabi Ali Sallam talks about this action, here he is referring to uh, receiving blessings, receiving protection, you know, making sure that there are benefits being uh, being given and received by the people of the house so it is as he's saying do you want do you want to uh, revive your houses do you want to put that action in your houses and not necessarily action by having people walk through it right but action like uh, a positive thing a positive thing that can come to your house which is blessings of God you know um, that he says then uh, go ahead he says and uh, recite Surah Al-Baqarah in the house because in any house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is recited devil does not enter in it in any house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is recited the devil does not go in it does not enter it so uh, that's a good question. How often uh, there are people who recite this on daily basis. There are people who recite this weekly basis or monthly basis or yearly basis. So at least when we do the khatma of the Quran, people who stay at home most of the time, they would be doing it at least once a year normally. But if we can do it even more than that, then that is much better. So that is also possible. That is also possible if you put it on, uh, on uh, you know, online. Let's say you're hearing it and the people of the house are hearing it. Um, then it is, it is positive. It is definitely beneficial. But again, if you do it yourself, if you recite...